Hey, it's Justin. Let's talk about routing aluminum. We've done a handful of aluminum projects on our machine, but this was the big kahuna. Six sheets of one half inch thick 6061. This project has been in the works for months and it felt really good to finally make a bunch of chips. Let's go through what we learned. Let's start with the obvious points here. Metal is uh, much heavier and much more dense than wood, so it's heavy and uh, the edges can be sharp. Each of these sheets weighs about 130 pounds, and unfortunately all had cupping, and some had a twist too. Let's not ignore the incredible amount of film that was on each sheet, and honestly didn't do much to protect the surface, but was tricky as hell to get off. Let's jump into CAM in Fusion 360. We'll go through the setup of a couple sheets, and then go cut some parts. If the layout looks generously spaced, it is. We probably would have spaced them tighter, but the client actually nested these parts and ordered the material. Our first operation is drilling. We're going to use a quarter inch high speed steel bit. We're going to run at 5,000 RPMs, plunge at 25 inches a minute. Under geometry, we're using selected points. We actually added a few more for hold down and then had to redraw some of the points because there were some funky circles from the client's DXF. Nothing else is too surprising here. Under type, we are using chip breaking, partial retract, and just pretty standard chip breaking settings. Second operation is a drill with bore setting. We're using a 3 16 a mana O flute, and that is 8,000 RPMs at 80 inches a minute. And essentially this is just gonna bore out those quarter inch holes we already drilled. We're using the same selected points, but not any of the extras, just the ones in our parts. We're gonna drill 5,000s past the model bottom. We're selecting bore milling as the setting here, climb milling, and a diameter of 0.344. In my opinion, you can't simulate enough, so let's simulate the drilling and the boring here and see what that looks like so we can go mill it. Uh, this is the quarter inch holes being drilled. And then we're going to zoom in here and see the 3 16 being bored out to the 0.344 diameter. And let's go see how that actually mills. We use a couple different ways to keep the cutter in good condition. One is this repositionable air hose that just physically blows chips out of the way, but the other is just using some WD-40 squirted manually to use as a form of lubrication and actually worked pretty well. On sheet two here, all we really needed was two different versions of a 2D contour. We did a roughing and a finishing pass and we used this Amana 51484 3 8 inch one flute up cut tool. 12,000 RPMs at 80 inches a minute got us a really nice finish. We did all six contours and we set the bottom height 10 thousandths of an inch up off the bottom to act like an axial offset. For this roughing cut, we're using 90 thou depth of cut and 10 thou radial stock to leave to 5 thou axial stock to leave. Since this project, we found we're actually very conservative with our depth of cut. Harvey Tools pulled out a bunch of great research on better machining methods. This high efficiency machining example shows an optimal full tool axial engagement of the cutter. Unfortunately, we had to slot cut our parts from sheet stock, so we tried to mimic this high speed machining method on the right, but essentially a slotting version with many step downs. The last part of our setup here is the ramp, which is a five degree ramp. It's pretty conservative. You could probably step that up a little bit. The last operation on this setup is a finishing pass. It's duplicated from the roughing, and then we use the same tool, same feeds and speeds, same selections. We make it 20 thou uh, below the stock, uh, so we get a nice cut into our spoil board. Uh, we like to choose stock bottom, so there's no confusion there. Uh, still doing a climb mill, and we've increased the ramp to 10 since we're taking off such a little bit in the uh, radial. I've always wanted to say this, but let's go make some chips. Here's the Mana O flute. It's a 3 8 inch tool. It's uh, number 51484. This is cutting at 12,000 RPMs, 80 inches a minute, at 90,000 uh, a depth. It cut really well. We were pretty happy. The You can tell the repositionable air hose here is really pushing the chips out of the way when it's just one step down. It gets a little hairier when you get in two or three, and we started to use quite a bit of WD-40 so we wouldn't get chatter. Um, just problems when you don't have coolant. 
We use these nice neoprene backed washers to not mar the surface, but to let us hold down our parts be before they were cut out. We definitely recommend to hand tighten at the end so you don't tear out your swell board. It's pretty easy to do even with a really nice drill. I'm going to be quiet for the next couple minutes and we're just going to let these chips fly. Holy chips. Milling aluminum on a CNC router is definitely not glamorous. You will find chips in every part of your clothing and attire and all over your shop for weeks to come, but it is rewarding when you get awesome finishes and your clients are super happy. So we hope you enjoyed this and found it a little bit useful. If you have tips on how you've done this better, definitely let us know in the comments. We would love it if you would subscribe and follow along with us. We'll be back soon with another video.